Yo, como están? This is Wild Down Twos, and thank you for joining me on my channel. Please remember, hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell for future notifications. This week, I'm here riding with Cowboy, and we're going to be going over motorcycle group riding. I know we all see a lot of riding groups out there and some MCs, and a lot of people don't know all that goes into it. So we're just going to go over some basics about motorcycle group riding. Roll the intro. And we're back. Thank you for joining Wild Down Twos. This week we're talking about motorcycle group riding. I'm just going to go over basics and not about MC formation too much. I personally love seeing a group of motorcycles gracefully moving their own way down a road. No one realizes how much practice, coordination, and planning goes into group riding. I always see many people posting about who's up for a ride, who wants to go ride in the group of my friends, or first time riding with a, tagging along with a riding group or an MC. Many of us can just be happy riding by ourselves, but one of the biggest reasons that we ride is for the solidarity of bikers who know the pleasures we have out on the road. It's the same reason that these same people join different social media uh, motorcycle group pages. Many bikers are sadly unfitted to ride in a group. Just by getting some of your friends together and hitting the road can basically cause all kinds of unexpected troubles. There are many variations within any group and with bikers. These include experiences basically of skill levels and types of bikes and their experience. You need to know if someone has a bike that is under 700 cc's. Any bike really under a thousand will have smaller gas tanks and cause the group to stop more often than not. Also bikes under 700 cc's will have a hard time keeping up with many riding groups, especially many MC's. Before going out on group rides, the first thing you should do is hold a pre-meeting to talk about things like the routes, the road conditions, skill levels, your destination stops, and what to do if an individual gets separated or lost. A biker with excellent skill level should be chosen as a leader, and there should be another skilled rear, uh, rider in the rear uh, of the pack to watch those less experienced in case they need assistance. Remember that when you guys see that MC roaring down the road in tight formation side by side at six inches apart down the road these clubs whether it be a one big one percent club or a smaller family club they have tight control on the formation that they adhere to when they ride in groups usually you'll see the group and maintain a staggered formation or a few side by side a lot of MCs do side by side we do side by side I don't highly suggest that Staggered formation is the safest. But in an MC, it usually looks like having the road captain in front with the president, sergeant of arms with the vice president. Then you have your patch holders in pairs, prospects in pairs, friends of the club in pairs. Some clubs have assistant road captains who fall behind the other riders. After all said or done, you may find yourself in a large group, but remember that these bikers are at an expert level. Most likely, a majority of the riding groups won't have an MC setup like a president, vice president, etc. One position that warrants looking into is that of the road captain. The role of the road captain in the MC is the leader of the pack. He is riding in the lead position and imposes riding rules and formation. The responsibilities of this position include planning the route, which will help if someone gets lost, um, they need to know the route. He also comes up where the group will stop and when. The road captain is usually a very experienced rider. He sets the pace of the ride and makes decisions such as when to pass a car or avoid a problem. Usually we want to have the bikers passing one at a time. The road captain communicates these instructions to the rest of the group through hand signals or even technology now that you have nowadays like a Bluetooth headset. As you can see, the significance of having a capable leader for your group ride is very important. So you need to select someone who ha can manage it. As soon as you have chosen your road captain, you need to place the others in formation according to skill. 
Behind the leader should come the least experienced riders, who can then be followed by more skillful ones. All bikers should come prepared. Just, I mean, basically, come with your tanks full, your cell phones fully charged. All bikers should have inspected their bikes already beforehand. Check the tire pressures, oil level, their levels, etc. Someone should also carry a first aid kit trauma kit. Some basic tools should be with the rider also in case they need a quick uh, repair. Also equally important, be careful for crazy riders in your group that can basically endanger the rest if they decide to get out of the formation on their own. If your group is new or have less experienced bikers, be sure and take plenty of breaks. So remember, this is supposed to be fun. This is not a chore. Have a plan in sight and stay safe. Most importantly, practice. Most MCs do practice this formation writing. So that's it guys, this is a nutshell, just about writing in groups. Till next time, much love and respect. Peace.